welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm Jamie. And what's today's mission? Today we're going to be talking about marketing ideas. So, um, restaurant marketing ideas, uh, fresh ideas for 2016. Great. So we found an article on uh, FastCasual.com and the title is 10 Fresh Marketing Ideas for 2016. So, um, and some of these aren't so fresh, but I think that people need a, a refresher the beginning these, of the year right and now is the time to be scheduling and figuring out what your marketing plan is going to be for 2016 right. so you need to start planning now thinking about it and then throughout the year so what better time yep. to start than yep, the new it's year? right around New Year's so yeah but you can use this anytime even if you're not watching this at New Year's time this is something for you to think about right and implement ASAP and sometimes you already are implementing this or you're doing small parts they say, oh yeah, I need to do the next step of this. So, 10 fresh restaurant marketing ideas for 2016. What number are we on, We're Jamie? On number four. Number four. Become a social media medium. The number of social media outlets customers have available rivals the number of Crest toothpaste options found at your local grocery store. Last count was 38 at my local store. It's important not to get lost in the myriad of options, but instead remain focused on nurturing the ones that matter the most. Once you've created a Facebook page and a Twitter handle for your restaurant, focus on gathering more likes and tweets by driving customers to talk about their visits online. There are also quite a few social media management tools available to help you manage your social media presence, including Sprout Social, Hootsuit, and Buffer. And we use, do we use? We use Social Oomph. Okay. I use social for some things. Uh, we I, we use we used we used TweetDeck for a long time. Um, TweetAdder we used for a long time. But here's the biggest biggest thing. People say, oh, and now I have a Twitter account. Great. What are you doing with it? Now I have an Instagram account. It's like, you gotta well, use it. You gotta use it. But a lot of people use it the wrong way. The best way to be on social media is to listen. Not post spam and not keep posting all these things and and bombarding people with all this with all this junk and spam and extra stuff. They, you need to listen. Now, one of our most effective ways. You didn't first of all you need to be in the top three: Instagram, uh, Facebook, Snap, Facebook, and Snapchat. Are the top three, and Twitter's up there too. You need to be on all of those. You need to be have a presence on. And all I'm of those. sure there's going to be more popping up this year. That's there's the thing. Probably going to be things you have got to be on top of the new. Four square. I mean, there's, <laughs> you even, need even, to be on top of the new upcoming things every single year. I mean, even like Yelp is considered social media because you can have friends on Yelp and you can check in and post things and without reviewing places. So things there's a lot go, of different right? mediums. But here's the best way you approach this: you be a listener. I like to go on and I like to congratulate people or say, "Hey, nice pic." When they took a picture of our local area, we live in a beautiful area. Three blocks from here, there's a trailhead that takes you to the ridge, and it's magnificent. You can see three, four states from up there. It's fantastic. People go there all the time to the waterfalls, to High Point, to Ice Cave Mountains, to Sam's Point. So what I do is I go on and I, I look at their pictures. I say, wow, that's a great picture. Great day for hiking. And then they look back and say, oh, look, Hudson Valley Green Restaurant commented on my stuff. Oh, gee, it's noon and I'm kind of hungry. We're getting off the trails. Right. Well, they're going to think of you. Now, that was not a direct sell. That was a very, very soft Subtle. sell. That was me just liking their stuff. That wasn't finding somebody that's on the ridge, hiking at 11 o'clock and saying, hey, we have a lunch special, you know, $5.99 today, or we have great burgers. That wasn't me doing that. And that's what a lot of people do. They go in and they go right for the sell, and you can't do that. Social media is not for that. Social media does sell stuff. You easily sell stuff on social media, but it's a matter of getting eyes back to your business, back to your web page, yes. to whatever. Twitter's great for getting eyes back to your page. And you want to share content. You want to share other people's things, like tw Twitter. Uh, Twitter. You want to retweet, retweet other people's content because that's that option. That's what makes it. That's what makes Twitter so cool. It's a sharing device. You don't have to have your own material 100% of the time. Right. You're sharing. You're liking, you're putting something out, you're messaging people. Twitter, I mean, changed the game in the way we send emails and, and the way we message people. Totally changed the game on that. And you have to embrace that. And a lot of these business owners don't embrace the fact that this is the reality of 2015, 2016. This is where we are. We've this gone is where the, we're going. We've gone through the biggest cultural shift ever, and you have to embrace it. And if you want to be relevant, 
you've got to be in the game. No questions asked. Absolutely. Jump into it. If you're a business owner that says, well, gee, I really don't know much about this, chances are you have somebody in college or high school on your staff that knows everything about this. My that, kids know a lot more than I know. <laughs> and we know a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Hire them, give them a few bucks, give them an extra job description, an extra uh, a task in their job description to help you with your social media. Now, I'm not saying to hand the social media off to somebody else altogether, because it's really you and your personality and you interacting with people honestly. You can't pay somebody to do that, but you can pay somebody to help you facilitate it and help you keep on top of it and show you the way and maybe go in and make a couple comments here and there and likes, but really you need to be looking at it yourself.